everybody, my name is Brittany of Britsy Thrift. I'm a reseller on Poshmark and today I have a cheat day thrift haul for you. So I've been trying and doing very well about sticking to my regimen of only thrifting one day out of the week, but I slipped today. I went two days in a row, so what you're about to see is a haul from two different stores, two different days. Um, the bad thing is that I did really good, so that's not good as far as motivation to keep me out of the store. It's just going to make me kind of feel like, oh, I'm missing out again, you know, but um, I'm going to keep with it. I'm going to, from here on out, I'm going to be strong and I'm going to stick with my only thrift one day out of the week. But as for today, just know that I cheated. So this is from two days. So let's get right into it. On the day that I was supposed to go shopping, I found these Doc Martens, which just blew my mind because I don't find Doc Martens that often. Um, I've only sold them one time and honestly they were in horrible condition, like really bad condition and they still sold and I got no complaints. So I was excited to have found these. First I saw this. Usually they have this little tab here with the writing on it. Um, this one says air, air wear and there's another one that says bouncing soles or something like that. But this is what caught my attention first, and I was like, oh, this is probably just something that's trying to look like Doc Martens. Then I checked the bottoms because they have a sort of a distinct look at the bottom. I look for this plus sign because I know that that's their logo. Sure enough, it was there, and I was like, oh my god, these are Doc Martens. So then, just to be double or triple sure, I checked on the inside, and lo and behold, yes, it says Doc Martens. If you can see that in there. These are called the Langston and they are men's size 11. They're very iridescent. I think these are called the oil something. I looked them up. Um, there aren't many listed. They said that they are rare to find. Got some dirt on the bottoms. And of course the shoelaces are missing. But I saw another pair that sold for $180. They were in better condition. They didn't have these scuffs. But I still only see a few and none are listed under 100. So I'm excited to see what I can get for these. And I'm just excited to have found another pair of Doc Martens after like two years. So that's really cool. Next we have these Justin Cowboy Boots. So there's the brand name right there. It's not exactly focused. I'm sorry. I don't know. I Sometimes I have a hard time telling if they are men's or women's when it comes to cowboy boots because they're pretty like unisex in the way that they look most of the time uh, and they don't really specify it says size 10d I feel like these are a men's pair I've sold a pair before for $60 so uh, I'm thinking these are men just from the feel of them and from the other ones that I sold so I'm excited if I can get the same $60 for these again and I paid on average about five bucks for all of these anywhere from four to like maybe five and a half dollars. So really good deal for a pair of leather cowboy boots and also a pair of Doc Martens. Jack Rogers. I have sold a pair of flat espadrilles before. I I wasn't aware of Jack Rogers before I sold that other pair. I thought it was just like a vintage brand or maybe I was thinking of Kim Rogers. But the other pair sold fairly quickly. I remember they were a flat pair of red espadrilles. These are, they have a heel, a wedge heel. So I, I'm guessing that Jack Rogers, maybe the thing for Jack Rogers is espadrilles. I'm not really sure. I see a lot of them come up when I look for it. Um, but when I take the comps, usually it's like 40 to, I can't even remember what I got for the last pair. But these look a little cuter. So maybe 40 or 50 for them. They've got this sort of champagne gold metallic. I think they're very pretty. The double strap and like this cork. Kind of got like a little bit of metallic fleck in there too. These are a size, hmm, these are a size nine. So hoping for at least maybe 40 for these. I grabbed these. They are Squishmallow, just these bare bedroom slippers. And I only picked them up because they are new. Looks like they only took the tags off of them. They're a size 13 one. I didn't know that Squishmallow made slippers too. That's pretty cute. I know that they were. A thing uh, I still pick them up if I find them like the squish you know the, the little whatever you call them squish stuffed animals I still pick them up I haven't sold one yet but again because these were new and they seem kind of cute I think maybe somebody will be interested in them 
this is going to be a very shoey haul. So I, I, it's weird because I just told myself I'm not going to pick up any more shoes because I got plenty of boots and shoes. And then sure enough, here comes the flood of good shoes that I just can't pass on. Like I'm not going to leave Doc Martens and a lot of the other stuff that I got here, those Justin boots, there's no way I can leave them for four or five dollars. There's no way. Um, I think this is probably the only clothing piece that I got. This is Janie and Jack. It is a child's brand. And I have sold the dress by them before. I can't remember for how much. I've heard that this is a better brand to look for if you're going to try to sell children's. This is a size 5. And I would have left it behind if it was just like a, a dress. But because it is this really pretty paisley floral jumpsuit. And it buttons up the back. That's too cute. And it's got the ruffle collar here. I just like that it was a jumpsuit. I was like, that's, you know, I, I don't know. it. Anything with more fabric to it, I'm kind of I'm kind of digging it. And by it being like a better kids brand, I just went on and grabbed it. I think it was only $3.42 or something like that. So really pretty. I think this would be a great um, piece to take a picture in for the spring, like maybe for Easter. And maybe that's what the person who donated it did. Um, but yeah, definitely hoping to get maybe like 30 for it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I definitely got carried away with the shoes. Uh, these I just picked up based off of style and condition. She did not wear them at all. There is not one speck of dinge that I can see on these. They do not have a brand, but they are a U.S. size 9. Just very on trend, really cute. Um, they're actually my size. And I thought about Oh, wait, there is one little spot of dinge. I just saw it. It never fails on white, but still, you can tell these were not worn. That's probably just from them being in her closet or something. But just based off of the platform chunky sole, I really like these super cute with the buckle. I don't know how much I'm going to get for them because they don't have a brand. So I don't know. This one's a mystery, but still such a cute pair of shoes. And I keep them for myself if it wasn't for them being white. So I really walk hard. So I like darker colors like black and gray. And I would just probably pulverize these. But some things, they don't have to be a particular brand. It's just simply because I like the style. I'm happy to add them to my closet. So they were just putting the shoes out. Um, this is from my cheat day. And I just got excited. <laughs> so I don't know. I just threw these in my cart because they were new. These are just snoozies, I think is what they're called, snoozies, and it says why not, and it's got two wine glasses there, and it's got like this faux fur inside, so just because they were a cute little pair of slippers, I just grabbed them, I don't know, they might have only charged me like a dollar and 99 cents for them, honestly. Same with these, so these my son may uh, keep for himself because he does kind of like Spider-Man. Um, they originally came from Walmart and they were clearance all the way down to a dollar. So thank you to whoever donated these. Super cute. So these are probably for my son. And these I'll probably resell. I think they were originally like 11 bucks or something like that. But I don't know. I'll still just throw them in my closet. Maybe somebody will bundle them together. Maybe somebody will just pay for them outright by themselves. Maybe as like a really cute little stocking stuffer perhaps. So this made me excited because I was hoping that I would find this again. I sold a pair of Birkenstocks for men called the Boston Birkenstock. It was called the, the Boston Style. And um, they were for men. And I remember they sold for over $100. I can't remember exactly how much. If I find a picture, I'll pop it up right here. But I was like, I, I remember actually... Um, the night before last, I think I was thinking about those shoes and I was like, huh, I wish I could find another pair of Boston's and lo and behold, here we go. Right. <laughs> so these are, um, these are not Birkenstocks, but they are from Birkenstocks. These are called Batula. Birkenstock makes different, uh, lines. Like I know Berkey's, of course, Birkenstocks, Berkey's, Batula. Um, but I know there is a couple of different ones that are under Birkenstocks and they are essentially they're Birkenstocks. So great condition, very minimal wear on the bottoms. Um, these are a size Lady 6 Men's 4. And these are the Boston style. So just a really nice suede. She just really did not wear them. So I'm so thankful that she donated them and that I so happen to be there at the right time. Um, really cool to find these again. Not only that, she donated two. So these actually are Birkenstocks. 
So they say that on the inside. Uh, European size 36. It says ladies size 5. And these are the, it's a little bit faded, but it does say Boston 25th anniversary. So these are a limited edition pair of Birkenstocks, which is really cool. They've got that corduroy in there, which I think is really pretty. And I see some comps showing that these have actually sold for $180. Just like the other ones, great condition. Love them. Even with the smaller size, I don't think I'm going to have a problem with selling these. Okay, so I did get some clothing. I thought that maybe that was the only clothing piece, but I forgot that I did get some more clothing. So anyways, I've never heard of this brand. This is called Du Pardi, size large. I just grabbed it because it's new with Tag Anthropology. Um, original price was $198. So this is a beautiful, beautiful purple velvet velour jumpsuit. I love this. I'm going to have to look up what the name is, but this is such a beautiful purple. And purple is my favorite color, so it just kind of, I don't know, it's it's really attractive to me. I love this. It's got a side zip closure here. And on the back, it's got the smocking, so it's got this stretchy panel. I was just so excited. I paid $5.50 for it super excited somebody is gonna love that this is a brand that i have sold before for 75 dollars i can usually get about that much for it this is ic by connie k and this is a small and i looked it over for flaws i actually don't see any uh pretty little not geometric but abstract print quarter sleeve with the tie sleeves so i don't find it that often but when i do find it and i actually have found a couple of others recently it always seems like whenever I go shopping I'll shop at one store and then I'll go to another store and find like two more at that other store it's almost like the person's stuff got separated between stores which it, I know it did not happen whatever that person donated is what they donated they're not like trying to spread it around to different locations but it's just odd because that seems to be how I find um, multiple items like in a cluster in the same time period so I grabbed this one uh, only $4.50. I'm taking a chance on this one. I've never heard of it before, but the comps kind of surprised me. I knew it caught my attention when I was looking through the rack and I thought, okay, that's just going to be like Forever 21 or something, but it's called Sachi, S-A, uh, sorry, S-H-A-C-I blue. And this is a size small. It's a faux fur, super soft, cute little crop, almost like a teddy, full zip crop teddy jacket. Got some color block going on there. The pink here and the brown there. And I'm seeing some comps have sold at $50. I only paid $5 and about 60 cents for it, I believe. So I want to give it a try. I looked it over for flaws. I didn't see any. So I think it's really cute and the comps surprised me. So we're going to give it a go and see how it goes. Okay, I said I was going to stop with the Lily Pulitzer. But when I sold that other one for like $115, I got excited. So when I saw this one, I was like, ooh. I don't see any flaws on it, so, and because it's such a pretty print, I just want to try it out again. This is a size 8, so there's a label, Lily Pulitzer. It's hit and miss for me. Like, uh, sometimes I can sell it, and other times it's just like it flops. Like, I, I don't know. I had, I, had a, um, I had a romper that sold for 75 a dress that sold for 115 I have other ones that are equally as pretty to me. But people seem like they don't really want to pay more than $50 for it. So I don't know. We're going to see how this one goes. It's got this really cute little pretty bead detail up here along the collar. Then not far off, they actually had this one. This is a kid's one. It is Lily Pulitzer for Target. And this is a child size large 1012. So weird because I just shipped out a child's Lily Pulitzer dress. So... It always kind of seems like as soon as I sell one, then another one comes to take its place. Like, it'll finally sell after a long time of waiting, and then, boop, another one pops up. Like, okay, now you can take me home. And I'm like, okay, do I really want to? Because it kind of took a while to sell that other one, but the curiosity gets the better of me. I just think that's really cute. It's a pineapple zip pool. I like the little detailing on uh, Lily Pulitzer. And I'm just realizing these are flamingos. Isn't that cute? Kind of like this textured sleeveless dress. So even though it is for Target, 
which means that it's a more affordable version of Lily Pulitzer, but the prints are the same, and I just think this is super cute. Somebody's probably going to want this. For how much, I don't know. I just sold one for 25 but we'll see how this goes. So I'm done with figs, but I still like Janu. Janu, uh, this is actually a size 2X, which is another reason I picked it up. I, I do think scrubs tend to sell slower for me, especially figs. I'm just not even picking up figs anymore, but Janu I do still like, and Considering that it is a plus size, I like this maroon burgundy color, and it is also a jogger. So I think with those factors, nice color, nice size, jogger style, maybe I could, I don't know how much I'm going to get for it, but I know it's going to go. So these next two pieces are an experiment. They are wetsuits, full body wetsuits. This is by XL. I don't know anything about them. I don't know what brands are good and what's not. I just want to try it. They are full body wetsuits, things that you wear in the ocean. I just saw it. It was in the dress section. So $5.60. And um, there's a zipper in the back. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything about, I mean, I just know that's what you wear in the ocean. So, uh, yeah, we're going to give this a try. I do, I have heard that some people have good luck with wetsuits. So that's what made me want to try it. And since these two were there and for regular price of a dress, I just threw it in my cart. So we'll see. Here is another one, not as full bodied as the other one. This one's actually short sleeve and short leg. And got the back zip closure. Um, it says 32mm. So, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to do some research. I don't know how many times I can say I don't know. But I just grabbed them and I'm curious to see. Maybe they'll perform very well for me and that'll be something that I have to keep in mind. Pick up wetsuits. We'll see. These are a women's size 6 Sperry boots. I just pick them up because well for one thing they were not marked up and I like this tartan no buffalo I like this buffalo red plaid buffalo check plaid they are a pair of duck boots really cute good condition so I believe I paid five for these um sometimes they charge you like six something in other places they're like we don't care five so I believe it was about five bucks for these I think I've sold these before and I still did not recognize them. The only reason I kind of gravitated towards them is because I like this turquoise here. But if you know that logo, you know that this is Ariat. These are a size six and a half. Just cute little western boots, turquoise and tan. I don't know how much I'm going to get. <laughs> Should be at least 50. They do have some marks on the toe, but I think that's kind of expected. When you've got western boots, it doesn't really seem to matter. I still get like a good amount, like 50, 60, sometimes higher. And the turquoise is just so cute. Let me show you the inside. So there it is. If you want to see the brand name, that's Ariat. And there's the inside. Lastly, I grabbed a pair of shoes for myself. I recently got some Brooks running shoes um, from the thrift store, just testing them out for myself. And I actually love them. Um, and that's coming from someone that usually always wears Adidas. So since I saw these and I really like the print, I like this, this funky green, colorful jungle kind of vibe. I grabbed them only four bucks. So that was fun for me and the bottoms are not worn out. So my new pair of Brooks. Okay. So that's what I got. Yeah, I shouldn't have gone. That was a lot. I should not have gone, but I mean, I think I did very well. I definitely don't regret any of it, honestly. I mean, if I hadn't have gone, I wouldn't have gotten Ariat and Birkenstock and cowboy boots and all of that. So I, I really thoroughly enjoyed myself, but I'm going to go back onto my regimen of only shopping one day out of the week, but this is at least helping me figure out which days are probably the better days. I don't know. Sometimes it's kind of random, but that's what I got. Thank you for watching my video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.